We live in an age where people are living longer. For many of us, retirement comes with more time to indulge in hobbies, our family and the community. But along with this newfound freedom, escalating numbers of people in many countries are experiencing dementia. I have played a woman struggling with the bewildering onset of the disease. More and more studies are looking into the condition as more and more lives are blighted by it. Undoubtedly, it's very distressing, not only for those caught up in the disease, but also for their loved ones as they slowly retreat into a place where normal interaction is seemingly impossible. When I was in Emmerdale many years ago, I remember hearing from Jack from Blackpool, who told me how twice a week he and his wife would sit down in front of the programme together, despite the fact that she was unable to communicate with him anymore. They loved the character of Dolly, and he told me, you are the daughter we never had. And I like to think that she's still enjoying the programme with me. Well, I told him I believed she was, and that deep down inside she knew exactly how much he loved her. A young poetess called Vicky Walker feels the same. She's worked in a care home in the dementia unit and is now working out in the community. She's written how it feels from the inside in this beautiful poem called Look Beyond Dementia. I am lost in the fog. It is too dark to see. I'm desperately trying to break myself free. I hear loved ones' voices calling to me. I try to respond, but no sound will leave. I'm late for a journey. Could you please help me? I fear if I dawdle, my train's sure to leave. <laughs> I laugh and I shout, but do not know why. The words are inside, but cannot arise. Although it may seem that I don't know you're there, or that I can't hear you, or know that you care. Please trust me when I say, I hear you, I see you. My love doesn't change. I am your sister, your neighbor, your brother, your teacher, your cousin, your granddad your mother. I do not discriminate. I take many forms, to the tallest of all, to the smallest of small. So please sit with me and hold my hand a while, for I promise you inside you always make me smile. <laughs>